Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain LBG algorithm by taking one example. The first step in LBG algorithm is to choose initial set of code vectors or representative vectors for the training vectors. As you can see here, there is large set of training vectors and you have to choose the representative vectors for that training vectors. Second step is to divide training vectors into number of groups or clusters using minimum distortion condition as you can see here means we have to find the closest code vector for each training vector and put that training vector in uh, some group or cluster next step is to compute the average distortion for training vectors here you have to find out the distortion between the training vector and the code vector and take an average of all those distortion after computing distortion the next step is to find the centroid of the training vectors in each cluster and make this centroid as a new code vector for that cluster now how can you compute centroid centroid can be computed by taking mean of all the training vectors in that particular cluster. Now repeat the process until the code vectors are changing. So these are some steps in LBG algorithm. Now consider this example, this sample of data. Take a vector, a dimension vector Oh, sorry take uh, dimension of vector as 2 so this sample data is divided into 10 vectors as you can see there are 10 vectors these vectors are called as training vectors here uh, each vector have dimension 2 now to apply LBJ algorithm or k-means algorithm set the number of levels to 3 so take l equals to 3 here so here we are choosing three vectors as three code vectors as you can see for the training vectors you can also choose code vectors from the training set but here we are choosing code vectors or representative vectors as this r1 equals to phi 3 for cluster k1 R2 equals to 6, 9 for cluster K2 and R3 equals to 10, 7 for cluster K3. So we have 10 training vectors and we have to divide those uh, 10 training vectors into 3 clusters. And for the 3 clusters, the representative uh, vectors or code vectors are R1, R2 and R3. Now if we plot all the values of the training vector and uh, code vectors then uh, it, it will look like this in the graph figure A. Okay. Now using the squared error distortion criteria we have to we have three, these three clusters for the training set. The training set is divided into three clusters. Uh, cluster, there are three clusters K1, K2 and K3. Consider first cluster. Here vectors 4, 2, 4, 6, 5, 1 and 8, 4 are closest to the cluster 1's representative code vector R1. R1 was 5, 3. This is R1. So these uh, training vectors R1, 4, 6, 5, 1 and 8, 4 are closest to R1. Uh, so these vectors are assigned to cluster K1. Same way, class, uh, vectors, these vectors 2, 8, 3, 9, 5, 10 and 8, 9 are closest to cluster 2's representative code vector R2. R2 was 6, 9. So, these vectors are assigned to cluster K2 because uh, 2, 8, 3, 9, 5, 10 and 8, 9 are closest to R2. 
same for the cluster k3 9 6 and 10 10 are closest to uh, cluster 3's uh, representative vector r3 that is 10 7 now after the training vectors are divided into three clusters we have to compute the average distortion distortion for first iteration so it is denoted by d1 here consider first vector in cluster k1 here this 4 2 cluster k one's code vector was r1 was 5 3 so we will find distortion between training vector 4 2 and code vector 5 3 so the distortion is given by this particular term 4 minus 5 whole square plus 2 minus 3 whole square same for the second vector in cluster k1 4 6 this one for the cluster k1 the representative vector was 5 3 r1 r1 is 5 3 so uh, find the distortion uh, between training vector 4 6 and code vector 5 3 so you will get this term 5 4 minus 5 whole square and 6 plus 6 minus 3 whole square same way for the vector this vectors 5 1 and 8 4 you will get this term sorry this term okay now consider cluster k2 this one the first vector in cluster k2 is 2 8 for the uh, cluster k2 the representative vector r2 is 6 9 so find distortion between training vector 2 8 and uh, code vector 6 9 you will get this term 2 6 8 9 2 minus 6 whole square plus 8 minus 9 whole square same for the vectors 3 9 5 10 and 8 9 in cluster k2 you will get all these terms now consider first vector in cluster k3 which is 9 6 for uh, cluster K3, the representative vector or code vector R3 is 10, 7. So find distortion between training vector 9, 6 and uh, code vector 10, 7. You will get this term 9 minus 10 whole square plus 6 minus 7 whole square. Same for the vector. 10 10 you will get this term now here uh, we are dividing the distortion by 10 why because we have to find the average distortion and there are 10 vectors in the training data right so distortion for the first iteration is given by this 6.9 you will get this value after computing 6.9 now the next step in LBG algorithm is to compute centroid for each cluster. Centroid is calculated by taking mean of all the training vectors present in the cluster. Here in cluster K1, there are uh, 4 vectors, right? 4, 2, 4, 6, 5, 1 and 8, 4. So take mean of all these vectors like this. Then the new code vector R1 for the cluster K1 becomes this 5.25, 3.25. Here take sum of all the x values 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 you will get 21 and uh, take the sum of y values 2 plus 6 plus 1 plus 4 you'll get 13 and then divide the va all two values 
you will get 5.25 3.25 so for cluster the new uh, cluster k1 the new code vector will become this r1 now in cluster k2 there are four vectors right 2 8 3 9 5 10 and 8 9 so take mean value of all those vectors so new code vector R2 for the cluster K2 becomes 4.59. Same for the cluster K3. In cluster in cluster K3 there are two vectors, right? 9, 6 and 10, 10. Take mean of these two vectors. You will get new code vector R3 for the cluster K3 as 9.58. Now plot these uh, training vectors and uh, new code vectors in the graph. You will get the graph like this, figure B. Now the second iteration of Y loop begins. Now it's a new iteration. The training vectors are reclassified to the cluster based on minimum distortion condition. Now the cluster will look like this K1, K2 and K3. First cluster K1 contains four vector which were which were same. The cluster K1 will remain same but the second cluster K2 loses one vector and in a third cluster K3, one vector, 8, 9, this vector, 8, 9 is added, which was previously assigned to cluster K2. Now, find the average distortion, then you will get distortion for the second iteration as D2, 4.8, this one. See here, D1 was for the first iteration the distortion was 6.9 and D2 is for the second iteration the distortion is 4.8. Here distortion is decreased so this LBG algorithm guarantees that the distortion from one iteration to the other will not increase. Now compute the new code vectors by computing the centroid of the clusters by taking the mean of all the training vectors present in that particular cluster so now the code vectors for the three clusters are this r1 equals to 5.25 3.25 because uh, the training set for the co uh, cluster k1 is not changing so it is 5.25 3.25 for r2 uh, for cluster k2 uh, the code vector is R2 3.339 for cluster K3 the code vector is R3 that is 9 and 8.33 now if we, if we plot the values of these new code vectors and training vectors then it will look like this this one now If you perform in the next uh, third iteration, then none of the code vectors will change and membership of three vectors will remain same as before. So the distortion for the third iteration is given by this D3 equals to 4.8, which is same as the last distortion D2, right? So now if we continue execution of the algorithm, then none of the code vectors will change their values. At this point, the algorithm is stopped and the code vectors are written. The code vectors for this particular training set are this. R1 5.25, 3.25, R2 3.33, and R3 9, 8.33. This way you can design code book using LBG algorithm. Now, the question is, how to initialize LBG algorithm? The performance of LBG algorithm heavily depends on the initial codebook 
that is the initial code vectors that you are choosing one option is splitting technique that is start with a single code vector by taking average of the training set and then obtain other code vectors other technique is random selection means randomly select initial code vectors from the training set or other option is use pairwise nearest neighbor method now there is one problem while designing code book using lbg which is empty cell problem what we will do if one of the cluster or group is empty in some iteration because here we are computing uh, here uh, for the computation of code vector in the cluster we take average of or mean of all the training vectors in that particular cluster so solution for the empty cell problem is to remove code vector that has no training vectors associated with it and replace that code vector with a code vector from the cluster which have most training vectors this is first option second option is to choose new code vector randomly from the cluster that has largest distortion okay this way you can eliminate the problem of empty cell now this lbg algorithm reduces the complexity of the transferred image without sacrificing performance so this uh, vector quantization is widely used in image compression so that's it for now i hope you will you have understood thank you